postseason record, 167 yards, two touchdowns in the wild card round. And, you know, he just showed such patience waiting for his blockers. I think it works very well for him that these blockers have been blocking for Big Ben for a number of years because you know what they say about him. It's not the first three seconds of a pass play. It's the next three when he shakes someone off and creates. So they're used to holding blocks and doing something extra. They do the exact same thing for Le'Veon Bell because they know the results can be excellent. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have you guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center that knows, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. And partner, in a lot of short yarding situations, you'll see the linebackers step up into the gaps, what we call mugging the line of scrimmage, to make sure they take away all spaces, all creases. That one worked really well for them. They only needed a yard, instead went backwards. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. This is taken at the 23. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Patriots take over. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Trying to shake off the intercept. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off William Gay. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. We don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off? His bio rhythms? What is it? They'll start the drive with a carry by Bell. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Now that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense, holding them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all, or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. On second down, here's Roethlisberger. Over the middle here to Brown. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Hey, when the playoffs begin, you always find out who's ready to go and who's ready to elevate their game and who the superstars are. And Antonio Brown fits that description big time. How about it? two of his first three catches? Long-distance touchdowns against Miami. He was ready to go. And remember, he's a Miami kid. He's born down there, but now fully adjusted to the cold temperatures. Fully adjusted and truly one of the best receivers in the game. On third and one, it seems natural to just turn and hand it to the biggest guy you have in the backfield. But usually, he's not the primary runner. So for the defense, they're often keying on the running back because he's the guy who gets the ball more often, and the fullback is the blocker. When he ends up carrying the football, that's a heck of a tendency breaker. And now you're just trying to jump on his back and hold on. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. On second down, it's Bell. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. So we play.